two more months until Street Fighter 6 revolutionizes the FGC as we know it. But until that, it looks like Third Strike's about to happen for, for the movie industry. Posting earlier today at around 9 a.m., so the Street Fighter film TV rights have been acquired by Legendary Pictures. Legendary is ready to unleash a Sonic, Sonic boom, boom, which is Giles' move, of course, with the studio acquiring the film and TV rights to classic beat em up game Street Fighter. The studio will work with video game company Capcom on future projects. So, it looks like we're gonna get a third attempt for a Street Fighter movie. So, as, as you already know, we had two attempts so far. So, we had the first one, which was early back in the 90s-ish, and then we also had another attempt with the Chun-Li movie, which we never t I, I broke the rule, I broke the rule, I was supposed to not mention that, I'm this sorry. Guy stinks! I'm sorry, that was supposed to never be mentioned. I did like the actor though, for though. Now, with the original with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Raul Julia, so it was, it's memorable, but not like, good. It's like, it's like fun, it's like a funny kind of way, but not like a good adaptation of Oh, oh! Oh, I, I was, I was trying to make, I did not realize it was that low. It was 11% and 20% on, uh, on Ron Tomato. Okay, so, I did not think people thought that of it that low. All right, so, they have some work. Now, while they did adapt Street Fighter 2, I think for the third one, for this third attempt, they, they, they need to do Street Fighter 1. They need to do the Street Fighter 1 storyline, because they, they tried to focus on Street Fighter 2, and, I, the, and the issue with that was um, Street Fighter 2, of course, was like the best seller in fighting games, and like what made fighting games what they were, of course. But for Street Fighter 1, there is more story that can be dwelled on, because a, for Street Fighter 1, you can go down the Sonic movie route, of course, and I, of course, will break up Sonic movie every time because that's how it really paved the way for more video game movies to be to, to be better, but I mean, like, for Sonic movie 1 is to have, just to develop the starting characters, of course, so develop Ryu and Ken as the start, so develop Ryu and Ken um, just to start out, bring in Guy, you don't have to bring in Chun-Li, you just need to start out with those two, because that's how it started out, of course, in the original. You start out with Ryo and Ken, and you can have them train with Goken, and you can delve into the story of the Ansatsuken. Similar to how the... I forgot it, because I, I was watching it recently. It was the Assassin's Fist. There's a, there's a live-action movie um, I don't know how few people feel about it, but it's the it's called Street Fighter the Assassin's Fist and it goes into Ryu and Ken's time um, training with Goken and learning about um, the Ansasuken, the Hadouken, the Shoryuken, even goes into Akuma's backstory as well. I, I definitely recommend giving that a watch. But yeah, so... Ryu and Ken get focused for like, I'd say, the first act, and then the second act could focus on the World Warrior Tournament. And then for the third act, you have Ryu fighting off against, or preparing to fight off against the guy. More than anything though, the one thing I want to just see be told though, would be of course the uh, Akuma storyline. Because, remember, um, Akuma what is important to that storyline, because um, in the Assassin's Fist, they also show him as well, because before he was called Akuma, he was also known as Goki, and then he became, he evolved into Akuma, so I want to, I'm curious if they would be able to have parts for Akuma, and how they would, like, try to showcase that, because, remember, Goki does die, 
and you're not eh, later on due to Akuma's uh, raging demon. So would they they do that maybe during the mid, the, during like the middle or like somewhere? Maybe like during the end. Maybe they could do it at the end because I I had to like double check the comics because I remember when I was watching the um the animated comic the have Ryu come back to the uh, to the dojo and then he just finds Gokin dead and a uh, the uh, Akuma symbol at the end afterwards and there's just blood everywhere I, that I think that's what they have to do yeah for the end so after Ryu um, defeats the guy they have they showcase Gokin is dead that that I hope they um, do I am very intrigued of who got the rights for this because legendary did before do the detective pikachu movie they did do the detective pikachu and that was successful so i am curious if they can pull off another good video game adaptation i really more than anything want to see street fighter be adapted i really feel that has so much more potential now in the future i really hope because I think I'd say they have a lot of potential with music, a lot of potential with areas, and fight, fight choreography. Because I'd say, um, I'd say with the Mortal Kombat movie, and this is probably the only time I'm complimenting it, um, that with at the new MK movie, they they did well with the fight choreography. Because I would that was probably one of the best things with the choreography for. Uh, the Scorpion versus Sub Zero fights. The yeah, I'd say pretty much the Scorpion Sub Zero fight. That was probably the only thing I can think of. Long as they don't go straight to two, I think with, with um this will be great. And I'm curious of how they'll try to do this. So let me know what you guys think this movie should turn out like and what other adaptations they should probably try. So thank y'all. Um, be sure to also like and subscribe. I'm trying also to get more uh, movie discussions out. I, so I was also hyped to see the Blue Beetles trailer, by the way. That was fire. So thank y'all for watching and hope y'all have a hype week because don't remember Mario Movie Week. Let's go.